Hello and welcome back to another episode of Modded Minecraft. If you take a quick look to the right, you'll see we're quite high up. How did we get there? I improved my magic. Oh, we didn't die. That's why you add bounce to your leap. It will save your life. So if anyone's got a leap on their Arsnor without bounce, tell them to put bounce on it. I'll show you what I mean. Self bounce. Extended time, so you got plenty of time to use it. Leap. And I got it maxed out at the moment just so I could do that. But you don't need it maxed out because that is one little bounce. So we'll take some of these off. And it's still pretty high. Okay. Last episode we were working on this. Not the fence. This. I worked hard. I checked out different things and the wiki and all that and found one little problem I was doing. I needed soul sand to speed it up but I'll try to get a better view this way. That is there. Now the wheel sits down here so it's actually touching the side of the wheel. Which is very important for creating max power. You can't see at the moment because I don't have my goggles on. I'll chuck those on just so you can see. And 320. That's max for those wheels. Now, we have it connected up there to cogs. That rotates, which then increases the amount of... Uh, stress unit things this does and as you can see cogwheel speeds up other cogwheels this is the fast we can go i make it go any faster this won't go on this is creating 112 fe per tick this holds 4.2 million fe which is four flux energy forge energy i'm not sure this holds 18 million and it was charged from this. In not much time either. Now, I have this side connected up to our crafter, which can hold all this. Each of these units is currently able to have 80 stress units per, which should be enough. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Because it's only a mechanical crafter, it shouldn't require massive power units. We'll probably have to create another sort of this or a windmill to run some other machines because this is purely a hydro dam. Now, I'm going to connect it up to our house over here and the basement. Not necessarily right now, but we have macaws, fence and walls. The spruce or the oak. Oak looks run down. Spruce looks a bit more modern. I'm leaning towards the spruce. But I'm oomping for change. No, we're not actually going to do anything of that right now. We are, I'll show you the problem. We have two emeralds to our name. Total. How do we... And I fix that up too. How do we do that? Well, fix that. We will need a personal, shrink, personal shrinking device. Which, stone button and the pearl glass iron. Should have all that. And this is my second crystal. It holds 10,000 experience, which is over 50, 60 levels. I'm not sure on the actual amount, but I put about 50 levels 
into it already and it's just over halfway. So it could be up to 100 levels. One thing we'll need is villagers. Thank you very much. Now, I've never used one of these before, so no idea how to use it. So we're going to grab some glass bottles, because I'm pretty sure you shrink them and put them in glass bottles. But I had a look over there. There's maybe one or two villagers left. They may or may not have died, but they did have iron golems, so it's not my fault. But we will find another village and go experiment on them. So we'll add a temporary waypoint. Blah, blah, blah. Now we need to head to there, which... I think it's out this way. Well, we need to head... There it is. Okay, we'll use the loop, and I'll see you there. Okay, we're at the village, and I slept through the night, so it's a little easier on us. Now, if we go, ooh, so if we go 0.5, um, ooh. Can we pick him up now? Uh, oh, that is ten times easier than I thought. Yep, yeah, hold on. I want to make you normal. You look like a baby pig. Now, the test of the... Oh, wait. <laughs> I'll make him teeny tiny. Where are you, villagers? I do not like villagers. Nope. Wrong button. <laughs> Let him go. Whoa. Ah, this can be fun. Oh, how much power? Whoa. We're draining like 10,000 power per time. Oh well. It's worth it. Hello. Nope, that's the wrong bottle. Come back, come back. No, come back. That's <laughs> Uh, they should add that uh, vanilla just for the sheer fun of it. How about you? Hello. Hello. Oh. I'm. I'm just gonna shrink things for fun eventually. Once we sort this out. Oh, stop pushing the wrong button. Come, come here. <laughs> uh, uh, you're not one. So what we got? One, two, three, four, five. Five villages. Left one. If we left two, I'll leave him. If I only left one, I'll take the villager and I'll have him without anything. Okay, we're back, and if we're going to return them back to normal, we're going to have to charge our device, so pop that quickly on charge, which will take two seconds. Done. And now, that's been growing, I think, quicker than normal. Like, I don't recall them being so uh, productive. They're quite slow when you try to farm them normally. Okay. Now, I want to cook them in here, ideally. Because this is connected to our system. But, uh, we could get away with a farm up top, couldn't we? Hmm, not really. Could we... That would look ugly. Sending stuff over here to... Mm, Mm. 
and also I upgraded enough of my stuff that I have things like exchange and pretty much most things you can get I've got now so we can do a lot as far as changing blocks up without actually touching them that's how I did the texturing on here I used the exchange which is this I've just got projectile exchange amplified for harder blocks and item pick up so it then returns to me else it just drops wherever it is and yeah I texturize this purely standing here or up on here just going bam 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 I won't do it now because I'll probably ruin it because I'm not exactly sure whether it'll take it out of my inventory and that could be a random block okay now the design I'm going to go for will be a probably a farm with a gap to beds and the gap will lead into here so we're gonna have it raised a little not sure on the aesthetic side of it but we'll deal with that once we have the entire design but as I said we need something to build with uh, cobblestone will be easy enough to see now we want to start here, connect that to that, uh, so we want at least this square to be farmland, then we place some dirt there, and fill it in, hmm, that's even. I don't like even. I'll exchange. The order. Now we have it even again. Well, this is just becoming hard. Okay, we have our middle. That's where the water's gonna sit. Well, that would be good if we actually had water and all of that. But we can quite simply go like this. Uh, did I keep the magic on? Self water, take the self off, go projectile. Ta-da! Very powerful if you put the effort in. Is ours new wall. And then we'll do this, and I think we'll have a carrot farm. Just because carrots don't have a second item as far as when they grew. Wheat and all that, they have a second item. Meme potatoes have poison potatoes, so we want strictly one item. That will be large enough for maybe even four villages. And we'll, yeah, we'll probably have this whole floor. So two block gap, then that raised up. Then they go wee all the way in there. I just hope they don't fall off. Now, we grab this back, set it back to one, and grow up. Come back! I want to make you bigger! Thank you. Yeah, I really don't like that semi 
silly intelligence. I don't know where I'm going to put beds, but all they need to do is not try to get to the beds that are meant for the others. Hmm. We will just break it. Now I'm hoping, because that guy can do that. Can you waterlog these? I'm not sure you can. I'll break that. Retill it. I'm not sure this will stay hydrated. We'll find out. Now, like I said, I'm going to put the beds in the wall. One each side. That guy's just found his bed. And... Yeah. Starting to get unhydrated. You can see there. And that guy found his bed. Mm, I don't have any cauldrons, so... There's any cauldrons over there. That's why he's... Ooh! Nope, that's a rain. That is... One thing that we'll have to watch. Now what next? Okay, and then we just go across the floor. That's the last block that they'll be able to fall. Not on you. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to... Where are you going? Are they seriously pathfinding back home? Wait, come back! I want you! You're important! I'm going to really be cranky at you. <sighs> to get back here. That's gotta be way over a hundred blocks. Yeah, here he is. Where you go? Hmm? Yeah, nowhere. Okay, I'm gonna just destroy every work block I can see. Seriously, no villager thing on your map. Uh, nope, that's one of the enemies. He decided to take a bath. He obviously smelt. I am really getting sick of these villagers already. Okay. Let's try this again. Now, land. Nitwit! Away! Oh, he didn't even try. One gem of emerald. Uh, it works. We have smelting villager farm. I really don't like the fact that he hasn't changed his job. As I leave you, I. Smelt. Nope. <laughs> Smelt an iron golem. Bye bye. He should have a decent amount of health. So each uh, hit of damage is how you get the resource that the mob drops. So every time he turns red, 
We should be getting iron. Yep. And when he died, we got a bunch of resources. We just need to somehow filter the poppies out. And the iron farm that I just thought of making will work quite nicely. Because I'm going to cook virtually every mob in this game as long as they give a resource I want. Or if I don't like the, the mob, I will smelt them just for the principle. I will see you next episode where we are hopefully cooking with villagers as the ingredient. Until then, bye!